Hey guys, welcome back. It's Carter with Bitsby Trippin. We're going to jump right into this one today. And this goes along with the current series that we've been building around the five megawatt farm and some of the things bring you guys with us with some of the things that we're having to do with that farm. That's just not like normal stuff that we've covered before. This today is in relation to some of the settings that we've seen over time. We've been out there for about nine months now at the site and we've seen over time our voltages start to creep up and this can happen you know at you know with any large site in general you're looking at phasing you're looking at your electricity and seeing how you're monitoring it and seeing if there's any kind of voltage drops on a particular leg because we're talking three phase power um and you're just monitoring you know what's going on and when you after you build a site like this having an, a biannual maintenance or an annual maintenance is a normal thing of like looking to make sure like the NSIs, the things that from our transformer to our panels, we use these step down uh, NSIs. Those need to be retorqued just to make sure that over time that, you know, the containers are vibrating and is there any kind of looseness that happens with the connections? We check heat on the lines themselves, uh, check the transformer, make sure it's looking, looking good. And in this particular case, where we had taken the team out there and talked to the power company about some of the voltages that we're seeing since deploying the containers. We were around 280 to 282 volts going there. Um, you know, this is 480, 277 power, three phase that we stepped down. And the miners that were using, the Bitmain miners with the firmware upgrade and the alpha miner power supplies, uh, you know, or support 277 voltages. But we started seeing around 286, 289 voltages. And we were getting a little concerned that we were hitting kind of the upper tier of the voltages. So we went out there with the team and then did some analysis with the power company. And we're going to show you guys some of that video out there of some of the ways that they can step down the actual transformer to bring those more in line. So they do have a setting they can go up and below, you know, around that 277 range. So uh, you'll see in this overview here with the transformer opened up, this is one of the 2,500 kVA transformers we have. And there's a dial in there that allows us to tweak that voltage setting. So we ended up having the power company pull it all the way back and go to our voltages just under 277. So I just didn't want to have the extra voltages to the equipment, mainly around those fans that we have, the assistant uh, fans on the containers. You know, they're 220, 380Y. And part of my concern was that if we're pushing closer to 300 volt, you know, are we going to burn those fans up faster? So we had the power company make this adjustment here. But this is just one of those things I wanted to bring to you guys to show you, like when you're managing a site uh, out there, if it's your site or whatever, that you you keep a look at that and know that you can actually have the voltages on the transformer adjusted. This is one of those things we just talked to them and found out that they could do this, you know, fine adjustment with that and thought we'd bring this one to you guys. So it's just, we don't get a lot of good videos out to you guys like we used to. We've been super busy with these different builds. We're working now on a 20 megawatt plus build um, and just going through all the activities with when it comes to zoning and cost and all of the buildup for that and prep for that. So we're going to be having some good content related to that coming this way on BBT. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that as we start to, ex you know, do that expansion. We'll be bringing you guys with us there, but we wanted to bring a good video guys to you today to kind of see that process and try to get some videos out to you guys. So Make sure you're staying tuned. There's going to be a live stream I'm going to have this weekend with some other crypto uh, channels right now. The Voss Coin. I don't know if Red Panda Mining is going to join it, but uh, we're going to have Serpent uh, X. We'll have Son of a Tech on this, and we're going to talk post Ethereum merge uh, in this past year and like what's happened and how have folks adjusted when it comes to you know mining with GPUs and that sort of thing. So make sure you're tuning in for that one, but. Until then, my dudes, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.